the problem with my colleagues' debate is after these people are apprehended, they are paroled into the country. And so, yes, indeed, it's 5,000 people that we would allow to be apprehended, paroled throughout the United States, and that's where you are seeing this wave of migrant crime. That's where you are seeing jurisdictions like New York, New York City think about their sanctuary status. I mean, I recall vividly a few things. I recall uh, at the presidential debate when the question was asked, who would provide free health care to illegal aliens coming into the country? We all saw President Biden raise his hand. He was a candidate then, but that is a pull factor. When you tell desperate people that you're going to give them benefits and you're going to give them cash and you're going to give them shelter and you're going to give them food, I don't particularly blame the illegal aliens who are crossing the border to get those things. I blame the choices we've made in government to allow it. And the underlying legislation here at least says, I don't know if you're arrested for robbery, that there is detention and then there is deportation. That we don't have to invite all of the third world's prisons across our border into our nation and then allow the people in this country to be, to be victims of that crime that occurs. I also vividly remember Secretary Mayorkas sitting right here in this committee room acknowledging that these people who were being paroled out into the country would indeed commit crimes. And the victims of those crimes have to be the collateral damage so that the Biden administration can allow the border uh, to go unchecked, to go uncontrolled. And as we... Uh, as we now try to create some deterrent to that illegal entry, it's interesting to hear my Democrat colleagues talk about just the need for more resources. Oh, if we just gave the Biden administration and Mr. Mayorkas more money, that would solve this problem. They are lawless in their use of the money they already have. They are taking what has already been authorized and appropriated it, and they've, they have used it to disperse illegal aliens into these sanctuary jurisdictions all over the nation. And so giving them more money is, is sort of like saying if you have a busted fire hydrant, you can solve the problem with buckets. You indeed cannot. You have to shut off the flow. You have to shut off the flow of the people into this country. And this legislation has the very humble objective of ensuring that the people who commit robbery do not stay here to do additional grave harm to our fellow Americans. I'll uh, yield my remaining time to the gentleman from Arizona.